Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm gonna show you some basic tips that every scooter rider should know to take good care of your scooter and keep it dialed. Uh, just like anything, scooters require a little bit of maintenance. Take care of it and it will take care of you. So you've got your new scooter, you've taken it out of the box, you've put it together, it sounds dialed, everything's tight, and that's awesome. And then you go and ride it for a day or two, and things start to get loose. You'll notice uh, after a little bit of riding, your scooter might start to sound like this. Now if your scooter starts to sound like that, um, you definitely want to get out your tools and give it a little bit of TLC. If you keep riding your scooter while it sounds like this, what's gonna happen is parts are gonna weigh out, parts, uh, parts are gonna wear out way too quickly. If you've got loose bearings and loose wheels, when you're out riding and jumping and grinding and doing all that stuff, all these parts are gonna be taking way more force than they were meant to. If you tighten them up though, everything will work properly and your scooter will last a lot longer. So the first things that you want to tighten up on your scooter, they're pretty easy. Most scooters, all you're going to need is a five millimeter or six millimeter Allen key. So you want to make sure that you tighten up your wheels and you want to tighten up your brake. They're, they're the really easy ones because you can see the bolts. Your brake, you're going to have uh, one or two bolts right here. Uh, and then your wheels, you just have an axle on each end. So to tighten up the brake, this particular scooter here, it takes a five millimeter Allen key. Uh, some scooters use a four millimeter Allen key. There may be other sizes out there, but that covers most of them. You wanna make sure that you use the right tool. Allen keys are available in metric or imperial. Uh, make sure that you're using metric Allen keys. If you use the other kind, what's gonna happen is you will damage your hardware, it'll strip out the bolts, and you won't be able to tighten up things, and it's a pain in the butt. Use the right Allen key, use metric Allen keys. For the brake bolt, all you do, put your Allen key in, make sure that the Allen key is all the way in the bolt. If it's not all the way in, it could slip and that will damage the bolt. You don't wanna do that. Get the Allen key all the way in there and just tighten it down. It doesn't have to be crazy tight. You don't wanna hammer on this, but you just wanna tight enough that the brake doesn't move. So yeah, that's how you tighten the brake. Next, we'll move on to the wheels. Now, some wheels use six millimeter Allen keys. A lot of them still use five millimeter Allen keys. To tighten your wheels, you're going to need uh, two Allen keys usually. So I've got two five mils right here. You're gonna put one Allen key in one side. You're gonna put your other Allen key here in the other side and just tighten them down. You'll know that you've got your wheel tight enough when it stops making noise. So if you grab the wheel and you give it a little wiggle and you don't feel it move and you don't hear any noise, that means that you've got your wheel tight enough. Now we just gotta do the front wheel. Same thing as the back wheel. Just put one Allen key in one side, one Allen key in the other side, and tighten them up. Okay, so the scooter is almost ready to ride, but there's one more adjustment. It is the most important adjustment. That would be your compression. This one gets a lot of people because it's sometimes a little bit of a mystery what all these parts in here do. The beauty of a compression adjustment though is that it really is, it's only one bolt. So the first thing you need to do is get access to that bolt, and it's very simple. You just pull off the handlebars. To do that, you need to loosen your clamp bolts. The same thing as the axles, most of them are gonna be five millimeter or six millimeter Allen keys. So I'm just gonna go, put my Allen key in the clamp, loosen those bolts. So once your clamp is loose, the handlebar should just pull off of your compression. If it's a bit of an older scooter, you might need to pull a little harder. You can put your scooter on the ground, maybe wiggle the bars a little bit, whatever you gotta do to, to pull those off, but they will come off. 
And then once you get inside there, you're gonna see right on top of the compression, you have one bolt. All you have to do to tighten this, put your Allen key, I think. No, this one is a five millimeter Allen key. Uh, same thing, some of them might be five, some of them might be six. Put your Allen key in the compression and you wanna tighten that down. Now, I know you might be wondering how tight do you make the compression? You want it tight enough that the steering doesn't move, um, but not so tight that you can't turn it. So what I mean by that, if this compression was too loose, we'll just loosen this off. If it was too loose, it's gonna move. And that's no good, that's what we're trying to get rid of. If it's too tight, this one down a little too much. If it's too tight, what's gonna happen is your steering is gonna be too stiff. So you want that steering to be able to move fairly freely. You'll feel a little bit of resistance, but if you gotta push the wheel, it's too tight. So I'm gonna tighten this bolt. It's just a little bit snug. And now that's steering smoothly, but it's not really tight. Once you've done that, that's all there is to it. Just put your handlebars back on. Now, to get the handlebars straight, what I like to do is I will tighten the clamp bolts just a little bit. Not enough to hold the bars, but just enough to snug everything up. Just a little bit of tension on the clamp bolts. Now the bars are kind of held in place. You can look down from the top of the handlebars and make sure that the wheel and the bar is properly aligned. Once you're happy with where everything is sitting, then you can go in and tighten everything up. To tighten the clamp bolts, there's a couple little tricks. Um, the biggest thing is alternating between the bolts. So what I mean by that is when you tighten the clamp, don't just you know tighten one bolt down and then tighten the next bolt down and then you're done. You gotta start with one bolt, tighten it a little bit, go to the next bolt, tighten it a little bit, and then go back and forth. Just tightening a little bit at a time. When you tighten down the bolts a little bit at a time, it's gonna make sure that the pressure is very even and it's gonna keep your bars right where you want them. They're not gonna slip around. If you find that after you've done this, your bars don't grip onto the compression like they used to, you just need to tighten it a little bit more. Sometimes if you're using like a smaller Allen key, you might need to go out and try and find something with a longer handle. That will allow you to put more torque on that bolt and get your bars tight enough that you can go right. So now that we've done all these adjustments, this scooter should be dialed and it should sound like this now. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope that you can use these skills to keep your scooter tuned up and make sure that everything stays tight. If you do this you know, every day before you ride, then your scooter will, uh, will last much longer and it will perform a whole lot better. If you have any other questions about how to tune up your scooter, you can leave us a comment down below or you can just head over to jibsactionsports.com and shoot us an email. We're always here, uh, ready to help out, answer any of your questions, and uh, you know, hope you guys have fun out there. Keep shredding.